In this lesson, let's get started with the iTwin viewer. Now there are three main steps involved in getting started with the viewer. Creating the viewer, creating a local copy of the viewer on our machine, configuring it to point it to the I model that we want to open, in this case, the house model, and running it using Node.js. We'll start with the first step, which is to create the iTwin viewer. We start where everything else starts, which is on developerdominantly.com. We'll head over to this Get Started link on the top and click on Start Building Viewer App. This is the tutorial that we're going to follow in this video, and I'll post a link to this at the bottom. If you miss any step, you can always come back and refer to this later. But in order to create the viewer, we need to call this npx create react app command. You can copy that here on the right and head over to our IDE. In this case, I'm using VS Code. We'll open up a new terminal. Select the directory where we want to install our app. In this case, I'm just going to use my home directory here. Let's paste in our command, and we just need to change one value here, which is the application name. We'll call it Smart House App. Hit Enter. Now, what's happening in this step is we're using Create React App to install the iTwin Viewer on our machine, and we're also installing any packages and dependencies that are required to run the application. So let's give this process a moment to load. OK, so once our application is set up, we can open up our application folder here. It's uh, the Smart House app folder. Select folder, and you will see our code over here to the left. These are the files for the iTwin viewer. And with that, we're done with the first step, which is to create the viewer and be ready for configuring our viewer. Now for that, we can head over to the .env file. Now over here, there are two sets of environment variables that we need to fill out, the authorization client settings and the iModel and iTwin ID. We'll start with the iModel and iTwin ID. Now, in order to get that, we have to head over to the My Twins portal that we saw in the previous chapter. If you need a reminder, you can find it on the top right. If you click on the user icon, there is uh, My iTwins. And from here, we're going to open the Smart House iModel. So let's pop that open. And over here, we can copy our IDs on the top right. You'll see we got the iTwin and iModel ID on our clipboard. We head back to our .env file and simply paste these IDs in. Hit save, and now our viewer is pointing to the Smart House iTwin. Next up, for authorization client settings, we head back to the tutorial that we just saw. We scroll down to the next step, which is to register an application. But if you want to learn how to generate your own custom client, learn about the different scopes involved, then please be sure to read up this section and also check out the My Apps link under your user profile. For now, we'll copy these values, head back to the environment file, and be sure to leave out the IMGS auth authority. But outside of that, we can paste in our config here directly. We hit save, and we have successfully configured our viewer, which brings us to the last step, which is to run the application. For that, we simply open up a new terminal and run the npm run start command. Let's give this a moment to load. It pops open a new tab on our browser and you'll see that the application is being served on localhost 3000. You'll see this pop-up, which is the application requesting the scopes that we just registered. This is a one-time thing. We simply hit Accept here. And you'll see the Smart House model in our viewer. Now, this is our Smart House application that we just created, and the Smart House is clearly open in it. And this is the beginning of our application. Now, this is how we get started with the Atchman Viewer. Three very simple steps. Create, configure, and run the viewer. Now that we have the iTwin Viewer running, we're ready to explore the Viewer code and understand how we can start modifying it. So let's do that in the next lesson.